Hello everyone. So rather than doing a normal tutorial here, um, I thought I'd showcase everything we've done in our tutorial so far and actually put them in a level format. Um, it's a nice way of, you know, actually seeing um, all of the things you're already able to do um, without, um, you know, going through too much effort. Um, but at the same time, point out some, um, you know, some obvious flaws here. Now, one of the first things um, would definitely be, uh, you know, in our pause menu, uh, the colors I use are way too light. Um, it doesn't really um, block out anything if lighting is a bit brighter. Um, so that's definitely going to be something, um, you know, I should be addressing. So yeah, that's <coughs> definitely something I want to fix. Now, the second thing is going to um, be on AI. Um, so their, oh, their normal behavior is fine, um, but their combat behavior is not. Now, pretty much every single uh, character I created, AI I created for different occasions um, uses the same combat behaviors. Um, but unfortunately, they are simply too basic. Um, it's way too easy to kill off enemies and it shouldn't be this easy really. Now, if you're creating a melee game, um, it's actually quite a lot easier to make them, um, make them more interesting as enemies um, with the blocking behavior. Now, um, in a shooter, you don't have this, so it's going to take a bit more to set up interesting behavior, but it's definitely something um, that should happen. Luckily, um, like I said, all of them use pretty much the same combat actions. Um, so it's something we can easily fix. Now, um, I've replaced the ammo box models with some really basic pro builder made uh, models. Um, and, you know, picking up the revolver, um, I just, you know, replaced the box with a table that has um, the model of a gun on it. And I swapped out the revolver model for a uh, handgun just because well I don't like revolvers so that's all pretty cool um, but yeah those are things we should definitely fix um, next up is definitely going to be um, hitboxes so unfortunately our AI is able oh uh, is able to shoot us while in cover um, now, this is not really related to cover at all. Um, everyone wants to kill me now. Yeah, those nav meshes were not perfectly set up. Um, but yeah, that's um, you know something I want to change as well. Um, because I've noticed even when actually going into houses, um, you know, our character seems to collide with... <coughs> Um, with pretty much everything um, at the top end. Let me try to finish him off. There we go. <coughs> now this guy doesn't see me. Oh, he does. There we go. So yeah, that's um, something I want to change, uh, change as well. Um, so easy example, and this doesn't go just for the player, um, it's the same with normal characters. I had to disable this ceiling here, otherwise we wouldn't be able to walk in. Same with the door in the room. Um, it seems like the character collision box is um, higher than the character itself, um, which allows enemies to still see us behind cover, but also hit us behind cover. So yeah, that's, that's definitely no fun. Um, <coughs> interestingly enough, I have noticed Having a lot of objects um, doesn't really take much of a performance hit, so that's pretty cool at least. Um, <clears throat> another a small thing I have noticed is that sometimes, yeah, yeah, ouch. Um, sometimes the ragdolls uh, don't work as well. And this is a good example of where the ragdoll just you know, repeats itself. So yeah, having a second look at, um, well, slightly complicating the AI a bit um, is definitely going to be necessary. Um, now this is still fun. But yeah, th those are a couple of things that need to be fixed. Um, I'm thinking of doing a general 
um, improved AI. So setting up those basics is still going to be um, going to be good simply because um, well, we will mostly need to adjust their combat behaviors really and slightly update um, slightly update the behavior trees. So taking out um, all of the waving would be a first a good first step. Um, so yeah, definitely that. Um, other than that, yeah, having a second look at uh, hitboxes um, because they do not seem to be uh, correct at the moment. Um, it's creating some collision issues. Um, so that's definitely something that um, that, that should be addressed. Um, yeah, so what I've shown in this uh, video is obviously the cover shooter. Um, so enemies using cover, um, our sniper guy, I improved his line of sight a bit. So, you know, he has a sniper, shouldn't have a really small line of sight. Um, obviously the normal shooter AI as well, as well as the advanced player controller and, um, you know, some camera action like in the beginning where the camera was following the player um, while having the player controls disabled. Um, Looks dynamic, looks cool, and a lot of games actually use something like that. Um, so overall, pretty cool. Um, I still disabled the alarm sound because it just is so damn loud for some reason. Don't really know why, um, but I can't seem to, even lowering its volume doesn't really seem to do much. Um, so other than that, you know, quite happy with everything that's possible so far. So our AI is, is pretty, pretty okay. Um, but their combat behaviors need to change. Now for those using uh, melee instead of um, shooter, you are lucky. Um, it's a lot easier to have uh, enemies be challenging um, with the block behavior. Um, but for shooters, yeah, we need to come up with a way to make it um, easy to replicate for different situations. So I'll try to make as much uh, of these changes in the actual actions combat um, which is something pretty much all of these characters just now actually just use by default um, so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it um, I want to do something like this again once we've actually uh, taken a look at inventory uh, dialogue etc and just you know do a new showcase um, and see how um, how we've improved everything we've learned in our uh, tutorial so far so hope you enjoyed this slightly different video and if you did please hit like and subscribe and i'll see you next time